I'm Gary Obermeyer from Premier RV. Today and the next several months, we'll be going through a remodel. So I'm going to show you the motorhome as it came into us, which is a very nice country coach. It's a 2009 Country Coach Affinity rear bath um, that we're going to do quite a bit of a remodel for the people wanting it. They basically were going to go buy a new Numar for 700 some thousand, but have decided to put money into a really nice motorhome to update it to their needs. So today I'm going to go through some of the things that we're going to change and as time as we get to those changes and do that work we'll come back and revisit what we have done. So on the exterior we're really not going to do a whole lot here. Paint job is a really nice paint job still in good shape. There'll be a few paint repairs here and there but not much. But we are going to do new headlights, um, daytime running lights, new fog lights. Um, and we're going to do an extensive LED package on the outside. We're doing LEDs in the awnings, we're doing LEDs under the slide rooms, we're doing LEDs under the coach for coach lighting, um, and I'm doing LEDs in the um, win window awnings also. So he just wanted to light up his motorhome more on the outside um, to, to help him in, in the day, in the, at the nighttime. That's really about it on the outside. We're gonna do new tail lights in the back, pretty common thing there too. But in the inside is where we do the majority of our work. So if we move to the inside of the motorhome. So as I said, still a very nice coach. It's been very well taken care of throughout the years and very good condition. They just want to update colors, update a few things to something more, more modern. So what we're going to do um, going to put a whole new tile floor in for them, um, tear this all up, tear out all three heat mats, put in new heat mats, new heat mat controllers, new tile. We're going to redo driver cab seats for them in a different material for them. Um, they want some Country Coach logos on the headrest that so we'll have in seamed in. Um, from a furniture standpoint, furniture will stay the same. We're just going to redo the fabrics and foam on both of them. Um, we're going to redesign the dinette for them to where this is going to be all one piece so it's not seamed there for them. They don't like that unevenness. And we're going to make these two bottom pieces drawers that pull out for the dinette for them just to give them more storage. Here we have a pretty standard U dinette from a country coach. Table just slides on a slider like this going back and forth, which they really like that feature. But what they've asked for is for us to engineer a motorized pedestal so the pedestal moves in and out along with the table to give them some more space so we'll be engineering that we're going to put a switch underneath here to to control that motorized pedestal so that'll be kind of something we haven't done before that we'll engineer and do i'm kind of looking forward to getting into that particular project also what they've asked for is they currently have a bay television and those for you that have country coaches understand that that first bay tv you pull it out and it rotates they don't really like that um, too low to the ground for them. So what they've asked for is to put a TV lift behind the sofa that will drop down through the floor um, so you can view it from the outside. Uh, people in the industry, Monaco has done that in the past. Um, we've seen that. So we'll end up designing that. It'll have its own sound bar and its own system outside for that. Um, other thing on the front, they're going to get rid of the curve shades. We'll go to MCD shades all up front to update that. Um, we're gonna put a new dash radio in, one of the Alpine 11 inch dash mm -hmm. radios Other for things that. we're doing on the inside, this was built as a medium cherry cabinet and they're gonna want a, they want the patina look on the Country Coach did. So all the cabinets will come out, get sanded, get patinaed, and then they want a heavy gloss lock, gloss lacquer look. So a lot of gla gloss on the lacquer. We'll be doing all new LED lights in all locations in this motorhome. From these lights to the window box rope lights will all be LEDs to the ceiling lights, all of that. Moving back, she doesn't want her, her sink here. She wants a single bowl stainless sink. So we'll be, we'll be cutting this out, putting in a sink in. All new galley fixtures, vanity fixtures, and shower fixtures will be going in the motorhome. Um, new wall sconces. Window boxes, we're going to keep the wood look. They really like the richness of the wood, but we're going to end up redoing the balances themselves, the fabric pieces, to more of a color they're looking for. Um, 
we're going to, they want more galley storage space. So we're gonna take out the dishwasher, take out a drawer, put in a trash can pullout for them along with pantry pullouts for them there. Um, new refrigerator, same refrigerator that was built with the motorhome. We'll go with a double door bottom freezer, stainless refrigerator here. Um, moving back into here, we're gonna end up redoing the wallpaper and the enclosed toilet bath in the front bathroom. Uh, like I said, new vanity fixtures there. Coming back here, gonna, this is pretty much gonna be the same. We're gonna do a different headboard with different fabric. Um, and then different sconce lights. And in the rear bath, we're just gonna do new fixtures and new, um, new vanity sinks also in both bathrooms. Uh, we're gonna add a ceiling fan here to get more air um, circulation here. Um, we're gonna do blackout MCD shades in the bedroom for them. So at nighttime, or they can sleep in, the daylight won't, won't disturb them. And then we're going to do all new audio video in the motorhome. We'll do a new bedroom TV, new front TV, new stereo amp. Um, we're going to do Alexa in the motorhome so they can talk to Alexa to turn on and off their TVs and turn it on and off their lights if they want to. Um, we'll get into more of that later. Okay, we're back at the 2009 Affinity uh, remodel. Um, we're getting close to having all the items removed out of the coach and the demo work done. Um, as you can see, we've removed all the cabinets, um, taken everything out of the coach that we possibly could because this particular customer wanted all the cabinets to be restained with patina and, and with a heavy gloss looking lacquer. So that's why we removed most of everything. One of the other things we're gonna do is the customer wanted new televisions throughout the motorhome and he wanted bigger TVs. So this, um, where the original TV was, which was a 48 inch TV, um, we're gonna end up putting a 55 inch flat screen um, TV in here. To do that, we're gonna have to remake this, what I'm gonna call this bucket. So you'll see that in the videos as we go move along here, but we are gonna put a 55 inch television here. This cabinet here, which is people, which typically would be over the passenger seat, a lot of complaints that people have of it sticks out too far. So we're remaking this cabinet, pushing it all the way back to this level. So when you sit on the sofa here, you can view the television better um, with all new electronics and that for the, for the audio video. Our next step will be is to remove the tile floor. Um, and then we'll start putting some of the cabinets back in that have been done. Um, we're in the process now of putting in the new ceiling lights um, as we're going through that, um, all new LED ceiling lights in the motorhome, removing the halogens out of the motorhome. Um, we come back to the bedroom. We removed the whole bed to get that redone. We've also removed the cabinets in here because the customer wants a 50 inch television in the bedroom. So we're gonna remake these cabinets in here for that. Um, and as you can see, we'll rewire everything up properly for the new stuff and we removed everything in the bathroom so we can remove all the tile flooring out. Um, we'll go outside now I'll kind of show you where we're at with some of the cabinet um, remodel stuff. We have some of it done. We're in process with a lot of it. So we'll go out there and I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, so these are kind of some of the cabinets that we've re we have removed and that we have in the process of redoing. So over here, all of these cabinets have went into the cabinet shop, been sanded, patinaed, and re-lacquered with a high gloss. So you can see now where you can see the patina, the dark patina in all the grooves. The, the cabinets are a little bit darker because the patina will just darken the cabinets a little bit. And then we put a high gloss on those as you see them. If you look at here, these are this would be the older cabinet that's still in the coach that has not been done yet, where you can see it being dull. There's no black patina look in the cabinets, so that's kind of where it went. That's where it started, this is where it'll end. As I said in there, once we remove the, the tile floor out, then we'll start installing some of these cabinets back in the motorhome as a process going there. We just want to get the tile out so we don't hurt the cabinets prior to that point. Hi there, Gary here at Premier RV again. Back to the remodel job we're doing here on this 2009 Affinity. 
Um, I just kind of want to take you inside the coach. We've removed the flooring at this point in time and we've taped everything off so we can um, patina and lacquer the cabinets that are left in the coach. Um, as I've said before, we took out everything we could. So I just want to kind of show you what we've done inside um, so you can see the progress after we're done. Okay, now as you see, we're in the motorhome. We have um, completely taped, bagged, everything off in the coach. So all the wood that you see showing will be um, patinaed and sprayed throughout the motorhome. Um, and we tape everything else off because as you do that, it's quite a mess. So we want to make sure we get nothing else dirty. We removed all the tile floor. I don't really care if this gets sprayed a little bit. So our next step is we'll come in, patina this, spray this, um, and then start laying the floor. But you can see the detail we go into with the cabinets that we left, what will be sprayed in the galley area. All the countertops are taped off. The main walls, um, where the refrigerator is at, all that's been taped off. Um, this little uh, bathroom here um, is all gone. We left some light switches so we can actually physically see in the motorhome. And then everything back here will also get sprayed and done. Um, we used 11 rolls of 11 rolls of yellow tape. It had to be a record for what we've used in a motorhome. So um, it'll it'll be uh, the next the the next thing you'll see is in here is when it's sprayed and the tile floor is in. So it's it's going to start coming all back together at this point in time. This is Gary at Premier RV. We have come to a completion on our 2009 Affinity remodel. Uh, customers are coming in today to pick it up and I just want to kind of go through our the things we did as we finalized everything. Probably last time we saw this it was being sprayed inside with a new um, stain of lacquer. So we'll work our way inside. Basically in the entry step ways you can see they wanted a black insert pattern going around the entry steps. We did that with tile and with solid surface. Um, to curve it to the dash properly. Then on the inside, now you can see the new tile floor we put in. And I'm going to kind of work my way from the front to the back on what we've done. So in the front, we've added a 55 inch television, remade the dash overhead to fit that size television. Um, Put in a new dash radio for them with navigation. And then a whole new AV system um, here um, for their home theater system. We push this cabinet back. People that own country coaches, this cabinet sticks out quite a ways and it's hard to see the TV from the sofa. So what we did was remade this cabinet, pushed it back, had to do a piece on the ceiling of where the cabinet used to be just so you don't see the outline of where the cabinet was before. Moving forward when we get to the outside we built this cabinet here and we have a TV dropping down out of the slide room for a bay TV. Um, push the sofa out. Redid some of the floor here to, to get the sofa to mount properly. We recovered both this sofa and the dining table. Um, recovered all the valances, or actually made new valances and recovered those. Put new LED lights everywhere in the motorhome and new LED rope lights everywhere in the motorhome. Windows, um, above the soffits, all of that. Customers wanted all new faucets and sinks. So in this case, we came up with, they wanted a cutting board. So we made the sink covers into a cutting board for them. Um, put in a new stainless sink here. They want a single bowl larger sink with a new faucet. Microwave cooktop stayed the same. In this cabinet, we took out the dishwasher, put in a roll away trash can for them with a little bit of storage in the back, and then adjustable shelves on the side for them. And then as you can see through the whole coach, one of the major projects of this was taking 
a cherry finished motorhome, changing the cherry finish to a patina cherry, and re lacquering, re sanding, and re lacquering the whole motorhome. So that's why all the cabinets you see, if you go into here, it'll have the patina finish now. They want a gloss, high gloss lacquer look. So we ended up doing that for them. Um, and we did that through the whole motorhome. So the cabinets are basically brand new throughout the whole coach because of the process we went through to do that. We talked about earlier a table that they wanted to go electrically go in and out. So we have a motorized table here that allows them to take it out 12 more inches than what it did before. Um, also has a remote that you can do this with. And then what we did is we added, kept the slider in so you can pull it out. And she wants to use this as a working surface as she's cooking. So it serves as two purposes. So it's close enough to her cooktop in this and also serves as a dining room table. Moving back, new GE refrigerator that they wanted. Um, we also put in a new sink um, in this enclosed toilet bathroom along with faucets. New backsplashes as you can see throughout the motorhome. The countertops stayed the same, but we completely sanded them and repolished them to come back to new. Fifty-five inch TV in the bedroom also, so we remade this entire cabinet to fit that television. Um, home theater stayed the same. Added a ceiling fan up in here for them. They wanted a ceiling fan. And then the other thing we did, they wanted blackout shades in their bedroom. It has day-night shades as, or the Hunter Douglas, day-night shades as you know as in countries. So we increased the depth of the window boxes here and here, and then also put in blackout shades for them. So they can have either or, um, nighttime blackout or, or whatever. Rear bathroom, same, we did the same tile design, the rear bath steps going up as the front, a black outline. Um, same thing, solid surface and um, black tile. New sink in the bathroom. New um, faucet also. And then in the shower, we redid the whole shower. Um, new faucets, or new shower head, shower bar, new tile, repolished all the solid surface. Okay, so we also added a driver's console for them. They wanted something to use while they're driving down the road, put a sandwich on, put their drinks on different things like that. So we built this cabinet, kind of his and hers. It moves, so they can put it in the middle, they can put it wherever. It has a lift tray to put different storage in there if they would like. And then since it moves, they can use it back here by the sofa when they're parked um, and use it as a little end table for there. Um, when they don't want it, kind of just fits right here behind the seat. Um, so anyways, it's a nice little feature for just it makes it a little bit more comfortable for the driver driving. Also, you notice the new cab seats. So cab seats are the same. We had them refoamed, recovered to match the sofas and the dinette with the insert colors to match um, the, the different colors there on that, which turned out very nice. Okay, going back to the exterior, um, the coach exterior was actually in pretty good condition. Um, we did probably five or six paint repairs around that needed to be done. No real big, big bodywork stuff, just paint repairs. Then the other thing they wanted, they wanted the coach to look back to the way it was when it came from the factory. So we did a sand, a buff, and a polish on the motorhome, um, which turned out really good. Buffed out all the 3M in the front, put new headlights on. Um, but this coach has a lot of sparkle in it, and in doing that, you can really tell coming back to it as it really brought the, the paint back to what it was. Um, turned out really nicely. We did that through the whole motorhome, um, top to bottom, um, polished the wheels, but the paint turned out, I mean, for a, a 2009, so for a 13 year old motorhome, it um, paint looks like, a, like I said, almost like it's brand new. Um, 
polish is stainless on the doors for them um, on the affinities uh, they're stainless on the doors um, and we polish the stainless um, I'll go through the things them. we did here uh, we'll go through the paint here in a minute because we redid the paint research um, and re um, polished the whole motorhome and sanded it so this is the TV we're talking about um, so we got rid of the bay TV in the bay out of this TV uh, basically it goes up behind the sofa as we showed inside on remote um, tied into the front satellite dish is how we wanted it so um, anything on the front TV will be playing on this like I said we cut a hole in the bottom of the slide room re reinforced the aluminum structure in the side room to add this and then um, basically this TV goes up and down form out here um, one of the important things is just to remember to close that TV up before you obviously put the slide ribs in. The other thing we did is we had LED lights to the awnings, to the bottom of the, of the motorhome, the bottom of the rails in between the tires, and, and on the bottom side of each slide room for them for exterior lighting. Um, all the lights besides the awning lights will always be that color. You can change the colors on um, all the lights. Like that's, that's a, I don't know, greenish color to a purple, to a yellow, to a blue, to a green, a red, and then back to clear. So you can kind of choose whatever you want to do there. Um, they come with a remote or you can put an app on your phone. Putting the app on your phone is the most typical way of doing things with these. Um, we redid all the windows. Basically the windows were a little bit foggy so we bought new glass, um, installed new glass in all the windows. Um, on the affinities that's, um, that's a lot of work. Um, so new glass in all of the windows. The other thing we did for this customer is country coaches are known to have a door check that want to overswing 90 degrees so we added a gas strut on the door for a positive lock on top. Um, the other thing it helps with is that when you get to this point, it's a little bit easier close for the ladies. And then when you get to this, it automatically opens to that distance. Um, pretty simple thing, but fairly nice thing. We chose to uh, stay with the country coach, having looked at other makes and models uh, that are out there and available, we decided we, we lo loved the floor plan. We loved the coach we had. Uh, there was really nothing we wanted to change. And the quality was built into this coach from day one. So we wanted to stay with the, the same, the same co company. And from an expense standpoint, uh, remodel versus buying something else or buying something new, uh, it made economic sense. And it was a, it was a great value for us to just remodel what we had and uh, update it like we wanted it. And Premier was gracious and great to do that and accomplish that for us. Product, it is in like new condition. It's, it's as, for being a used motor coach, it is, uh, looks like a new one from the outside to the inside. So uh, that's why we, we feel very proud that we took the effort and the time to have it remodeled and, and updated so that it is like new to us. So why go buy a new one when you know what you have and it's a great coach. So we didn't, we didn't go down that path. We, we really enjoy the, the work that was done and how everything came together from the colors to the workmanship to you know, all the attention to detail. That's really what makes a difference, is the attention to detail. So, uh, proud to be here. It was just, uh, you know, the wow factor, the way everything looked um, after it all came together. It is just beautiful. And I'm so proud of the work that Premier did.